of a sudden, a lot of time has gone by. <laughs> it's just like, oh, wait a minute. One day you wake up, you're 43. 2015, I broke my wrist, and then 2016, I broke it in almost like the exact same spot. A lot of wear and tear, torn calf muscles, broken angles. My lower back is probably like the weakest point in my body right now. All these super hard slams <laughs> for years and years, definitely gonna like move stuff around. I started skateboarding when I was 11 years old. It was a friend of mine, he went to Texas and came home and he had a skateboard. And it had like vibrant graphics. I was like, whoa, that's a skateboard. Got my own little banana board from like a toy store and we were just like riding down hills, ripping off all our hands and skin off our knees. It's not really about tricks that you do, it's more about like how you do them and how they make you feel when you do them. You always want to make whatever you're doing the ultimate, where you're always striving to make the tricks that you do better. You're sort of competing against yourself. I think that drive, that self-competitiveness that have always been in me. It didn't stem from nothing. There's got to be something inside you that says, I want to do this, I want to win. I turned pro in 92. Skateboarding was pretty much dead. You know, nobody was like really going big. All the big vert ramps were pretty much getting torn down. As soon as we came to America, everything changed, you know what I mean? All of a sudden, we were getting paid by companies. A new world opening up for me within skateboarding, you know, like all the magazines and all the videos that I'd always like looked up to and all of a sudden we were going to the spots that were in these videos and then like in these magazines and stuff like that. We quickly came to realize that skateboarding in, in America was a lot different than how it was in Europe. There was a lot more opportunity. Slam City Jam up in Vancouver, Canada at the time, like the biggest competition of the year. This was before X Game. I ended up winning the, the contest up there against like all the best vert skateboarders. All of a sudden, like, beating these guys in the major competition, it was like, all right. Still at that time, didn't really have a vision of longevity and like being a professional skateboarder for 20 years or whatever. I was just kind of like, yeah, if I can stay here in America for like two to three years, maybe five years, I'll be happy and I'll go home. I've won the X Games a couple of times, but I don't see them as like a, that moment that's like a certain point in my career where it's like, that's the wow moment. I feel like I have a, a line or a string of achievements. No two places are the same in skateboarding, you know, it's really rewarding for me and really inspiring and that's kind of more like the fun stuff and also like the cultural aspect. Seeing different architecture, different cultures. This is one of the biggest Scandinavian banks pretty to look at, but it's also like a, a live space. The architect had skateboarding in mind. Creating something like this is, is really inspiring to me, and it's cool to see that you've got tons of kids coming here, skateboarding every day, and bringing this place to life. Skateboarding is so much like an art that people still appreciate the stuff that I do, even though I'm maybe not number one ranking guy or whatever. I've always looked at the guys that were older than me, and thought, wow, they're great. It took me a little while to realize that a lot of the younger guys that look at me sort of think the same way. How my skateboarding is now and how it was when I was younger or a kid, it's just more fluid. I try to think more selectively about the stuff that I do and try to make it look really nice and feel really nice, like eternally, like when I do the tricks. Building and designing skate parks where kids can learn all the different aspects of skateboarding is really important. Well, I had one wish for the future, It'd probably be uh, just to be happy in skateboarding and uh, finding the fountain of youth would be nice. I think maybe skateboarding is the fountain of youth in a way, you know? 